Hello there everyone and welcome back. This is Tosashi and I'm playing Dreadwolf here after the first patch of season 17 just got released and as expected they uh, have made a couple of changes to this mecha and uh, I am gonna be honest I expected actually a bigger nerf so at the same time even though I expected it bigger, I am glad that I didn't do it because now this way they seem to be more carefully making steps to not immediately destroy the mecha basically. Um, so I'm curious what the next few pa patches are going to show us. So what, what did they do? So first of all, the dash has a slightly longer cooldown, I think from 7 seconds to 8 seconds, which to me is fair because the mecha is very mobile. Um, and I think, yeah, that, um, that will make it a little bit more balanced. Uh, then they optimized the jumping button, which I will need to test, because this is uh, my first game with Dreadwolf in this new season. So hopefully I can actually get there and uh, demonstrate some things, uh, try some things out. I'm really happy that I didn't change the jump height. Um... So yeah, I'm grateful for that. What else did they change? They, um, if I understand correctly, they made sure that the auto-aiming feature after hitting with the secondary weapon, the auto-aiming feature for the primary weapon, is now going to be less um, reliable. So the rectangle is Still, oh, someone's there close by. The rectangle is still, still there and it will still help you with uh, the aim assist. How, uh, I don't know how more to shoot through that window, but apparently that was not working. Anyway, um, the auto aim feature now does damage. A percentage of damage based on how far away from your rectangle you are. So it means the better your aim, the higher the damage. So until 100%. So you will be in that sense rewarded for uh, actually still aiming while using the auto aim feature. And if your aim is further away from... Uh, wait a minute. There we go. If your aim is further away from um, um, from the center of your rectangle, then you, your damage can drop off to between 60 and 90%. So all the way, almost half, uh, if you really are doing a sloppy aiming, basically. So I think that sounds pretty fair. So you will still be rewarded for uh, Dreadwolf's incredible damage output, especially after hitting your, your secondary. But uh, you will be also kind of punished if you don't try to aim and if you just try to rely on that rectangle. Um, so I think that's a very solid, um, very solid change because it will distinguish the people like the people with good aim versus people with uh, more lazy or just less good aim. Which, in a skill-based game, I think is absolutely um, what you'd be wanting. So let's take a look around here. Um, yeah, I will pick, I will use the skateboard. Because I'm playing here with Yu Chong. And... I would like to pick up some quick loot still before uh, heading into the mecha. Mm -hmm. So how's my backpack looking? I got the blue propulsion, pro propulsion module. That's the minimum that I need for uh, reliable jumping around on top of those bridges. Um, my loadout is looking pretty decent. Um, and I'm curious. 
curious about testing out retro because even with these changes and they are still very minor i still think uh, dread wolf is in a in a, in a top position when it comes to uh, mecha capability and i will cover this definitely into um, my upcoming tier list tier list that i probably will be making today and uploading very soon uh, let's see here you know what let's get into it oh yeah so you can now turn the camera okay complete miss okay Uh, I will be picking up the iron cannon. So I think you can you could already turn the camera like so. I don't know I don't know what they meant exactly with the change there. Thank you for the gun shoot. And so upon landing you can I mean you could already do that. I, I don't know if they wrote something about being able to do a jump after landing or something. Oh wait, the landing... Let me take a look again. I really need to take a look at how the landing looks now versus how it used to look. I don't know for sure, but maybe the landing is less impactful? I mean, that's kind of similar. I, I, I'm not sure. I need to pay better attention. Maybe compared to my other videos, it kind of feels kind of feels the same. The jumping around. So here, I still do the damage. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I think Dreadwolf still works like a charm it didn't change the range let's see if i can demonstrate a little bit there was someone here in the water eh? yeah so there i did less damage oh and it shows like a mark of some kind let's try this again completely missed that and this is still working pretty well okay that seems like uh, a bug but I do hear someone nearby where are you where where are you shooting from up there okay up there Ventures okay let's take a look here doing a lot of damage to me I'm so Ventorus is playing well there I'm stronger in the closer range so I will just uh, stay a little bit on this side oh. so here it does this damage and here it does more yeah I like that all right that's looking pretty good Got the Firefox once more, but the Ventoras I need to be careful with because um, I think a good Ventoras has a lot of versatility to offer. Let's recharge this one and activate some speed here. And take a look what I can do here. Let's make sure nobody's in my back, first of all. Sounds like the Ventoras is chasing me, which is fine for, it's fine with me actually. Mm -hmm. So let's get ourselves into a better position here. Um, Golden Shadow Star shotgun sounds really sweet. Uh huh. Where did you go? Oh. Mm -hmm. I 
Okay, that took me forever to take down the pilot, but in the end I did manage to do it. Uh, let's keep it like so, actually. Even though the flamethrower got buffed a little bit. I will keep this as is. Um, yeah, and you know, I think the, the tactical skill cooldown increase uh, is fair, and I don't really notice it that much, actually. Um, I'm not saying they should increase it even further, but I think it would even be okay if, if they would. Alright, let's go here. Fuckless, that's a beautiful name. Oh, there's the Venturas again. Yeah, I need to be in a better position to be dealing with them. And in the meantime, a uh, Skylark is showing themselves. That seems to be moving pretty well. So I will just be moving myself into a better position here. And see if I can re-engage as they come closer. Okay. Getting some hits in. Gotta be careful. With this. Seems to, this Skylark seems to be work playing rather well as well. So I'll be just fucked. Let's move away a little bit. I'm low on healing resources here. But the Skylark is not pressuring me. And the Taurus is also taking its time. In the meantime, I will take down a little bit of opposition left and right, okay. Keep missing my secondary there. Okay, I got it in. So the moment you get your secondary in there, it's still business time, let's say. Where are you? Yeah, I managed to shoot you from the air there. I don't know why you weren't moving, buddy. You played so well. Core 1, excellent. They also fixed Something with Coral 1 I read, there was some kind of uh, bug going on there with the distance. Or maybe, because I always felt like the distance was too long, but now it seems to be fixed. We have the shorter, short, shorter da dashes, that makes sense. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with the current state of, uh, of Dreadwolf. I um, don't think I further need to nerf it. Yeah, because the damage already falls off at this distance. The yeah, Ventura is still, still blasting there from the other side of the... Uh, uh, all, all the way from there. Huh? Okay, I did manage to get that hit in there. Just to show you, buddy, I know what's up. Let's, uh... She's just gonna stay there. I'll just keep harassing you. Like so. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just slowly advance here. And, uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. I gotta be careful. The Ventoris knows what they're doing. Yep, they got me anyway. Let's uh, move in here real quick. And uh, move on to a better position. Charge my mecha. Let's 
quickly as I can. I can hear you real close. Moving. That's perfect. I need extra movement here. Ah, oh, they got me anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back on top of my board here and see if I can do some sniping. So we both got each other in ace time. I'm gonna move there. Oh, and there's still a caramel, okay? That's also good to know. Two more opponents. Good hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's keep moving here. Oh, I got sniped by Echo there. Well done. That was probably the Ventura's player. All right, so as you can see, uh, Dreadwolf still works pretty well and um, should not be underestimated. But at the same time, I do think it uh, requires a certain play style uh, and carefulness because if you just stand still, you will be uh, focused down real quick and uh, destroyed. So. Uh, Let's take a look here. Yeah, 27,000 damage, really solid. Um, so yeah, what's my conclusion? I think Dreadwolf is in a really good spot now. Doesn't feel as busted as it felt before. Um, still very rewarding to play. So I will definitely keep playing Dreadwolf. So yeah, for the new mecha, I think Tempest and Dreadwolf came out really, really well done uh, in the relatively new, latest um, mecha designs. Um, but more about that in my upcoming tier list video. I uh, hope to see you there. As always, have a beautiful day and peace.